Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're taking a look at question one from the AP Calculus BC exam from 2024, so let's get straight into it. The temperature of coffee in a cup at time t minutes is modeled by a decreasing differentiable function c, where c of t is measured in degrees Celsius. For the intervals 0 to 12, selected values of c of t are given in the table shown. Approximate c prime of 5 using the average rate of change of c over the interval 3 to 7 show the work that leads to your answer and include the units of measure. Alright, so the way we're going to approximate the, the uh, slope is by using this method we were taught in Algebra 2, where we use the, differ the difference in the, or the change in y divided by the change in x. In this case, it will be c of 7 minus c of 3 over 7 minus 3. c of 7 is 69, as shown here, minus 85, 7 minus 3. This gives you negative 16 over 4, which is negative 4. And our units will be Celsius per minute because it is degrees Celsius divided by minutes. So that will be your units of measure. Part B asks us to use a left Riemann sum um, in order to approximate the value of C of T and interpret the meaning of 1 12th integral of C of T from 0 to 12. So let's graph the data first. We're given four data points at the beginning, we have a data point at 100. When three minutes pass, we have a data point at 85. When seven minutes pass, we have a data point at 69. And when 12 minutes pass, we have a data point at 55. So there we go, here are our four data points. And the way we will make a left Riemann sum is by using the left height, bringing it over to the next data point and creating a box create another box and create your third box. So here we have three boxes. This one's length is three because that's the difference in minutes between these two um, times. This, this difference is four and this difference is five. So, and now we have to find the area of the three boxes and add them up. Area is going to be base times height. Height of this one is 100 times three, 300. Then we have 4 times 85, which is 340. And then finally, we have 5 times 69, which is 345, which gives us a final answer of 985. And now when we divide by 12, we will get an answer of approximately 82.01. And what this means in the context of the problem is this is the average temperature and that makes sense because as we see it goes from 100 to 55 82.01 is somewhere in between those two values so uh it, we can we can say that that is going to be the average the approximation of the average all right for part c we're going to use our calculator to solve it because we're given an a equation c prime of t and what we're want, we're going to want to do is integrate it from 12 to 20 the bounds given here and this will give you the change of temperature but this would be assuming that um this starts at zero but at time 12 we have the temperature 55 so we have to add 55 to this all right so Plug this into your calculator. If you're not sure how to use your calculator that well, you press math, nine, you're, you're, you're brought here to a integral menu. You put in both of your bounds, 12 and 20. Then you put in the provided equation, negative, negative 24.55 times e to the power of 0.01 x, I'm going to put x because there's no variables for t, 
divided by x. There we go. Don't forget to put it in terms of dx. We get negative 14.67 plus 55 gets you an answer of 40.33. So we're going to get 40.33 degrees Celsius at minute 20. Now D says for the model defined in part C, it can be shown that C double prime is equal to the equation given by them for uh, the interval 12 to 20. Determine whether the temperature of the coffee is changing at a decreasing rate or at an increasing rate. So um, if, if it is changing at a decreasing rate, the, the second derivative, which you're given the equation for, will be negative. But if it is positive, then it will be increasing at a, or sorry, oh, changing at an increasing rate. So let's see if this term is positive or negative. Um, so we can see from 12 to 20, all numbers between there are going to be positive. We know that for e to a certain power, that's always going to be positive. e to any power is positive. This uh, integer we're given is positive, so we have a positive, a positive. 100 minus t, when t is between 12 or 20, that's going to be a positive again. So our entire numerator is positive. And then t squared for any value of t is also going to be positive. So we have a positive on the bottom. And since all four terms that are multiplying or dividing with each other are positive, the entire term is going to end up positive for all values from 12 to 20, meaning that uh, the temperature of the coffee is going to be changing at an increasing rate. And there you have it. That's how you solve parts A through D of this problem. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed or if you learned something. And I will see you guys next time.